In this video we're going to talk about various fetching strategies used by Hibernate to fetch the details from the database when we try to perform the load operation. So what we have here is the boss class and we have defined the mapping with the employees class in here. So each boss will have one to many relation with a list of employees. Now assume that we have 10,000 employees under a single boss and when you're trying to display that particular boss object should the hibernate display the boss object alone or should it also display the list of employees that are associated with that boss well this fetching strategy defines the same there are a couple of strategies one is the fetch type lazy and the other is eager loading let's first talk about lazy loading so when you have the fetch strategy set to lazy Hibernate would just fetch the employee object but not its associated list of employees. So when does the Hibernate fetch the list of employees? Is when there is a real need to fetch employees. Let's take a look at an example and you would understand better. So the example that we have in here is similar to the one we had taken a look at when we talked about one to many relation. The only difference is I got rid of that delete method from here. So inside the insert method, I'm adding list of employees to the boss object and then I'm trying to store the boss object into the database. Since we have the cascading option set to all, this will also save the list of employees along with the boss object. So now let's take a look at what's happening in this get details method. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to fetch the boss details, boss object to be specific and then after that let me just quickly copy this statement to display that boss object. So now what is your guess is going to be the result of these three instructions in here. So I'm just trying to display the boss object in here and also note that I have now disabled this toString method. I will explain you why I had to do that. But here I'm trying to display the boss object and after that I'm trying to get the list of employees in here. If I run this program since we have the fetch type set to lazy, Hibernet is just going to perform one select query to get the boss object but it's not going to get the list of employees. Let's run the program and see what's happening. So as you can see it has fetched the boss details like boss ID, boss age and boss name but nowhere in here do you see employee objects and that explains everything. So although we are trying to fetch the employee details in here, there is no real purpose of it. After we fetch list of employees, we are not doing anything with it. So let's do something with it. So that way we are telling Hibernate that yes we do have a real need for employees because we want to display it on the console. So I am just looping through all the list of employees and trying to display it. And now Hibernate would actually fetch the list of employees that are associated with the boss object. Let's run the program again. And this time you would notice that Hibernate has not only fetched the boss object but also fetched the list of employees. And here are those two. So these are getting displayed from the toasting method of the employee object. So the reason why I didn't enable this toString method as part of the that is part of this boss class is because if I enable this then Hibernate thinks that there is a need to fetch the employee details because this will get displayed on the console and so it's just going to fetch everything regardless of if we are doing something in here or not. Let's run the program and the result would be as expected we got a couple of select statements. One is to display the boss, another is for employees. So, 
that's about the lazy loading. So what is the real purpose of lazy loading? Well, lazy loading has a significant role in improving the overall performance of your application and ultimately the user experience as well. For example, let's say that you've logged into your Facebook account and think about a situation where Facebook keeps on loading all the posts that ever existed. That would happen if Facebook was coded in such way that the lazy loading is disabled. Since the logic behind the Facebook is lazily loading all the posts, you're able to see the posts only on demand. So as you scroll down the page, the posts will get displayed. And that happens due to lazy loading. And lazy loading can also be observed in all the e-commerce websites. You don't get to see all the list of products that ever existed. You would see a few of them and as you scroll down, the products would keep popping up. So that's about lazy loading. And the other option that you can set in here is eager loading. And that's simply the opposite of lazy loading. So in case of lazy loading, it has performed a couple of select queries to display both the objects. But now if I run this program, you would notice that Hibernate has actually performed the join operation to be able to get the boss details. So it has not only fetched the boss details, but also list of employees. So that's it on lazy loading and other fetch strategies that Hibernate supports. And lastly, I would like to mention that even if you don't specify any kind of a fetch strategy in here, depending on the type of relationship, Hibernate is actually going to default the fetch strategy to either lazy or eager. So when you have a single entity that has to deal with many entities or many objects, like when you have one to many relation, then sure, when you're trying to display this, we want lazy loading. So Hibernate default the fetch strategy to lazy in this case. Same as with many. When you're trying to do something with one of the objects on this end, then we want Hibernate to default to lazy fetch strategy. And when it comes to many to one mapping, many entities will have mapping with only one entity on the other end of the relation. So there is no real need of having fetch type lazy in here. And same is the case with one to one relation. However, if you define your mapping, I mean your annotation on the other end of the relation, then it's like one to many relation from this side, from right to left. In that case, again, we want the fetch strategy to be lazy. All right, that's about it. Hope it makes sense. See you soon.